Hello Capricorns and welcome, it's Oracle Angels. Um, I'm doing your monthly reads for the month of May 2020, okay? Oh, we already got one, perception. Right, um, so guys, um, I'm going to be doing it by week by week, okay? So week one, week two, week three, week four, okay? Um, or last week in May. Right, so let's see what we have. Okay, perception and perseverance. All right. So somebody's looking at something here from a different perception. I also feel that this is about your heart chakra. Okay, you may be getting a change of mind or a change of perception towards things, change of heart towards things as well. It could be asking you to kind of just open your heart chakra and look at things from a different perspective, okay, or a different angle. Perseverance. So I feel like this is what you really need to be doing right now, okay, having the control, okay, um, and keep persevering through these difficult times, right? You may be feeling very isolated or very lonely right now. Feel like you have no one to talk to, okay? Um, there's a lot of people like that right now, okay? Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm one of those people, okay? Who really do feel like there is no one to talk to. And even though I have people around me, but still I feel like there's no one, okay? So let's see what's going on for the month of May. Let's see. We are kind of going into our fourth week here in the UK in lockdown. So, yeah, I mean, and it's not even just about UK, it's about all over the countries, right, where this is all happening. I mean, things are going down. So it is going to feel like that. So we have the, yeah, again, there is perseverance, right? You need to have that perseverance. So in the month of May, there's going to be a lot of persevering to do, okay? Um, I also feel that this is about having that resilience, okay, to just keep doing things how you do it. Let's go for the second week. See what we got for the second week, please, angel guides. Okay, you got the King of Wands in reverse. So um, Virgo is dealing with the King of Wands upright, okay, and, and you have yours in reverse. So you could be dealing with somebody here, okay, who is um, an impulsive, prejudiced kind of person, somebody who is intolerant, okay, somebody who's got no manners. I, I don't really like the King of Wands in reverse. Um, oh, my God, you've got the King of Knight of Wands now, okay? So Virgo also had this as well. So if you're dealing with the Virgo, you might want to go and check out that reading, okay? Um, the Knight of Wands was in reverse for Virgo in <laughs> in this, um, in, the, in their particular reading, and the King of Wands was upright. Wow, okay, I like how the energies just flip. Let's go into your last week, okay, of May 2020. I feel like you could be dealing with a Virgo here, um... Or you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sag, or somebody who has very strong fire energy, okay? We have the Seven of Cups in reverse, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, so, could be dealing with a marriage here, okay? Could be dealing with a community, religious beliefs, a difference, okay? Same sex, gender is not specific though, just saying. Okay, so let's see what's going on. So you got your guard up, okay? You're keeping an eye, you're being vigilant, right? You change your perception also on things. That's what I feel here, okay? You're looking at things from a different perception. But still, at the same time, you're being, like, cautious, okay? So we have uh, the King of Swords, Air Energy, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Yeah, you kind of change your perception, getting some mental clarity over the situation, starting to think with an open mind, okay? But I think that this is also about you taking back the power, okay? Um, standing for what you feel is right. Two of Wands. You could be waiting on something, but you're kind of stuck at the moment. But I feel like this is your own vision here, your own... Um, your own thoughts expanding, okay? into more mental clarity month of may for a lot of earth energies is about just themselves getting mental clarity okay dealing with stuff and things that no longer serve them just kind of releasing it okay and i feel like there's a lot of healing going on here okay as well um so let's see what's going on let's keep this going so we have stuck energy here as well but i feel like you also got like you have got support there i feel like there is a particular person here who could be supporting you guys okay um let's see what else is going on could be the king of swords but i feel like that's your energy there six of cups could be a soulmate who you're not with at the moment could be persevering 
stuck not knowing how to get to this person or how this person is going to come towards you because of obviously this lockdown which is not really helping but it's very essential and very important um two of wands your soulmate could even be with you and supporting you for some all right this is for a collective amount if that light on the camera keeps changing because the sun outside coming through the window is just kind of messing up my lighting six of cups i also feel that this could just be um reminiscing you know thinking about things yeah seven of cups a lot of uh, thinking going on here reminiscing thinking about choices thinking about ways to deal with situations okay i feel like this could also be as well um you're really much in your head right now your headspace but you're also trying to change your perception about things and i feel like sometimes the only way to change your perception about things is going back a little bit you know and thinking about things that may have happened in a particular situation and things that you know um and how you could have i mean i would say never think of how you could have changed things or what if because um everything is a lesson that you know you've learned in life okay you've experienced and sometimes these things happen to lead you towards the path that you are truly designed to go on and with the whole reminiscing yes reminiscing is good but not to overthink okay about the situation and dwell over it to the extent where you're kind of like well what if or only if i feel like the energy i'm getting from this is thinking about the past yes thinking about some memories that are going on but also it's kind of helping you to push forward and change your perception about certain situations let's go for the king of wands who is this who is this person i feel like this person is really like um the center of attention Let's see what's going on. Okay, so you come into the realisation that somebody is not who they said they are. This person may be ready to cause um, some serious upheaval in your life. Okay. But I think once you've come to the realisation, there is going to be some fulfilment or completion going on here. Four of Pentacles, yeah, you're going to kind of like hold back and reground yourself, um, especially in a situation here where there could be a lot of heartbreak, um, where there could be a lot of heartbreak. Um, there's going to be a lot of, um, I think that there is a separation between you and this person. So this person, I feel, is going to come across in a really ruthless, aggressive way and end something here with you. Um I feel like that is going to be the completion here. I think that it's going to be your your stability, your your foundation is going to be very, very rocky, okay? Um, but this is a completion. You're going to be holding back your feelings, okay? Because you're going to be really, really hurt in regards to the situation, okay? Page of Pentacles. You may want to, you, you may apologize to this person or you're going to expect this person to come and apologize or you're going to apologize that the situation just didn't work out, okay? But I feel like somebody's coming down to their knees in this relationship here. Let's clarify kind of the Knight of Wands. Wow, okay. Things are getting a little harsh in me. Um, Venus is going to be in retrograde, so depending on where that is in your birth chart, um, I'd say that um, for most people, this is going to be about having something you can't get or wanting something that you can't get okay but also it's going to be about focusing things and speaking your mind um dealing with shit as it comes right and five of swords so you may end up or this person may come towards you in a very ruthless way start a conflict start a fight purposely that's what i'm getting from this okay so it's not just like one of those fights where oh, okay this person says something it's like they instigating it they're provoking a fight it's going to be done on purpose okay with the queen of pentacles being here that's your energy okay i think that you're going to stand your ground you are going to be very very grounded okay emotions are going to be high but i feel here that you're going to be more emotionally aware about your feelings okay and how you're going to come to the realization that it's time to start something new okay you may even feel like you've 
won in this fight okay and then this person just couldn't get away with it um but i also feel that it's just like a hollow victory at the end of the day um for you it may be a big thing or for the other person it may be a big thing but i feel that you are going to just take your feelings you're going to come to the realization that this wasn't really anything for you and with the ace of wands i think that you're just going to move into a new situation okay and start fresh all over again okay you're going to start a passionate new um passion a new relationship this could be a renewed relationship as well here okay saying that but i do feel here okay that somebody's going to come in quite hastily um quite energetically this person's not going to stop at anything okay with the five of ones i feel like there's going to be a lot of conflict here okay um a lot of fighting going on here between you and this person i feel like it's going to be deliberate okay but i also do feel here okay that I mean, I'm really not feeling like anything serious is going to happen here between you and this person in regards to, you know, oh, okay, this person broke my heart. Yeah, let's have a kick off. A big, massive fight is going to break out because the worst is already done here. So as you're moving into the third week, this is just going to be those petty, small fights that are coming across between you and this person. OK, so communication may not be over until you start this brand new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. Now, with the Seven of Cups, OK, you had a clear vision. OK, you were making clear choices about what it is that you wanted to do but now all of a sudden okay i think that you feel like this has all become an illusion okay any choices that you make is just an illusion okay so what i'm also feeling here okay is that for your own happiness all right you may be overindulging in decisions okay um overindulging in decisions what no you may be <laughs> You may be coming across as somebody right now, okay, who's really up in their head, okay, with a lot of thoughts right now. A lot of these are illusions. You may be even deceiving yourself in regards to your own happiness and your own hopes and wishes, okay? Yeah, see that? It's just like wasted um, energy, okay? Wasted energy, right? Wasted wasted thoughts, wasted illusions, okay? Scattered thoughts. Um, I think you need to come out of this headspace, okay, Capricorns, whether this is you or your person, all right? But I also feel here that somebody here uses this as a diversionary tactic, this fight, okay, for their own happiness, their own needs. I feel like they have a lot of options when it comes to drinking out of different cups, if you know what I mean, right? Hmm. The Empress. Somebody here could be pregnant as well, just saying that might not be the case here though. But I feel like for somebody's own happiness now, okay, Capricorn, it could as well be you. You could be dealing with the Taurus as well. Um, or this could be your person. For your own happiness now, I feel here that with the Empress, okay, this is about like your own needs now. All right. You actually know now what it is that you need to do. Okay. And you're nurturing um your own needs. Okay. You're dealing with your own needs here. With the Page of Swords, I think that you've decided now to cut this person out of your life, especially with the Knight of Swords. Okay. Clearly, I feel like you have, yeah, you're working on yourself now, okay? You're working on yourself. Okay, so, yeah, you definitely cut this person out. I, I think you felt like this person was just somebody who they, they said they are, but they won't, if you know what I mean. Like uh, two-faced almost, right? <laughs> so, right, okay, so keep persevering, guys, okay? Keep persevering okay so um capricorns this was your reading i hope it resonated if it didn't simply wasn't your message okay take a leave whatever you wish to don't forget to smash that like and don't forget to share because uh it could resonate with somebody that you know who's going through this okay if you have subscribed already to my channel welcome back i love you guys so much and if you haven't already well welcome and don't forget to hit that subscribe before you leave um also don't forget to stay at home stay safe hashtag with me of course and i love you guys so much take care bye bye